Hey, what's up, Zach here. And these are all the differences between a no-show, ankle, crew, and mid-type sock that you need to know about before you decide kind of which one you want to use in your everyday life or which one you might want to use for sports. Here we go. And of course, thanks to Bombas for sponsoring another one of these sock education videos, because as you know, if there's one thing I love, it is sock YouTube videos. Let's get into it. Now there are a few different reasons why you'd want to choose an ankle or no-show sock versus a mid sock versus a crew sock. Because if you watch any professional sports, you'll see a lot of the players are wearing more crew type socks, higher type socks. And it's not just because some of them need to wear ankle braces. Most of that comes down to moisture management in their feet. Because when you start sweating really heavily, gravity kind of becomes your biggest enemy. Because when your body starts cooling itself down, those beads of sweat start going from north to south. And the end of the line is your foot. And if you don't let anything stop those beads of sweat from dripping down your leg, well, they're going to go right into your shoe and make your shoe more of a swamp than it is footwear. And that's the biggest benefit to the crew sock because instead of that sweat dripping into your shoe, it's absorbed by the fibers in the proximal end of the sock. And you'd much rather have your leg be a little wet versus in the shoe where you can start to get blisters, hot spots, or, or just a general feeling of getting slowed down by all that moisture in the shoe. And that's also why you see athletes doubling up on their socks. Not only does it create a little bit of a padding layer in the footbed, but it also can absorb a lot more sweat in the leg. It also creates what we call a microclimate between the two layers of the socks, allowing more efficient airflow. Because if you just wear one super thick pair of socks versus two thinner pairs of socks, you don't get that microclimate, you don't get that airflow. So your feet actually end up feeling hotter and more soggy with one sock versus wearing two. But the biggest downside to a crew sock is there's just more material around your leg and some people don't like that feeling. That's why I really like the Bombas crew because a lot of them come with super efficient moisture wicking fibers and a lot of them come with merino wool in there which also just exchanges heat really well which a lot of times those merino wool crew socks from Bombas don't feel like you're wearing anything at all. And the other issue you might come into with a crew sock is durability of the elastic in the crew and so once again you're going to want to go with a brand that has a little bit more durable materials put into them like Bombas which I've had this here tennis crew sock now for about two and a half years and it is still performing just like the day I bought them. So with a crew sock more than a mid or a low, you are really getting what you're paying for. But going down the chain into more a mid cuff type sock, you know, the biggest reasons for these a lot of times is to pad a shoe that comes right to that area, but you just don't want any more sock than that. And I've found that these mid cuff socks are a favorite among sneaker heads who wear mid rise type shoes that just want to cover exactly where the shoe goes on their leg and really nothing more. And when you look for a mid cuff type sock, you really want to have one that's nice and light here in the footbed, like this Bombas one, a little bit of compression, but also a lot of padding in the cuff because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to pad around a little bit of a higher rise type shoe and allow you to wear those shoes you just hit on a little bit more comfortably. And getting into the ankle or no-show category, you know, like I said, these are for people that really want to have a minimalist feel. They want to have a lot more breeze kind of hitting their legs. And for people that really aren't heavy sweaters because if you aren't someone that sweats very heavily well then you know the use of a crew sock just you just might not need it as much just might make you feel a little bit lighter on your foot and perform a little better if you see a lot of runners you know they're not wearing crew socks you know especially in high speed situations because they're trying to be as aerodynamic as possible and even a sock like a crew can introduce some drag if it's not super low profile now if you're going to be sweating a ton it probably is better to get the performance out of the sock versus is the aerodynamics because over time they're going to start to equal each other out and kind of go in the opposite directions. However, for a sprinter or even somebody running like a 5 or 10k or even marathon, you know, a lot of times the ankle sock actually is a little bit better for the aerodynamics and just being able to feel the wind at your legs. So it just kind of just different applications for different types of sports. And the things I look for in an ankle sock specifically is a nice padded collar around the back of your ankle. So if the shoe does kind of hit right in that area, you're not getting blisters constantly because right where your Achilles attaches into your heel bone, that's where your skin starts to ruffle up and that's why you get so many blisters from a shoe because the shoe back is flat, your skin is wrinkled so you get all those little hot spots because the surface areas just don't match up. You also want them to be able to move with your ankle because one of the biggest reasons to get an ankle sock is for more mobility. This is the Bombas Tennis Ankle Sock. It's got this huge ankle collar right here which allows so much freedom of movement in your ankle and just the perceived feelings of freedom of movement. 
And when you're looking for a no-show sock, honestly, it's just comfort and feel. You know, I like Bombas's because the materials are so good, they feel really good underfoot. However, the technology in those is basically just who makes the best elastic and spandex, so they stay around your foot. Just look for comfort, not a lot of tech involved there. Like I said, with any of these categories of socks, it really comes down to the materials they are made of, and that's why I love Bombas socks so much, and that's why I've agreed to do so many videos with them sponsoring them, because they're a brand I actually believe in. From number one, the Merino Wool Crew Sock, to the Tennis Ankle Sock, which is the only ankle sock that I will ever recommend to tennis players out there versus any other brand. I think it's really the only one that performs well enough to recommend to people. So if you are looking for a pair of socks out there to last you the long run. There really is no better brand out there than Bombas. Uh, I will say the durability, the comfort, and just performance is really unmatched. And I would love to know your thoughts down below, just kind of get a gauge where the community's at. Kind of what is your favorite type of cut of sock and, you know, why are you wearing them? So let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see any of the other sock education video series, I will leave that playlist linked up above and make sure you subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam and variety of sock threads. See you in the next one.